Good morning, Sarvo Srinivasan from Chennai. I am a retired uh, senior manager from Indian Oil Corporation. I have yesterday put up an audio, uh, a video version of uh, EPS 95 where the EPFO uh, Chief Commissioner has given the wrong interpretation on the 4-11-2022 Supreme Court judgment. Uh, this has killed many people's uh, expectations and I don't know what is the reason behind in uh, taking 60 days time of this particular uh, personal vendetta shown by the civil servants against the senior citizens. So everybody is aware of what is EPS 95 but EPS 95 is the case which has been lingering for the past 5-7 years in various high courts we won the case. Asibutta case, our father of EPS 95, Amin Kohli, first initiated this and then many organizations, uh, especially public car undertakings, uh, they were all denied this particular benefits to the EPS 95 scheme. EPS 95 scheme per se, even if people had watched the Supreme Court uh, last five days or six days in August uh, 22, when the proceedings were going on, it was very well clearly explained that the pension is a scheme which has to be provided, it is a social security scheme which has to be provided. And 1995, the people who have become members up to 2005, uh, 10 years of membership of the which 8.33% of employers contribution has to go into the kitty. And then the employers, 1.16% of administrative charges also needs to be paid. Somehow or other, this oil industry, heavy industries, then uh, many public are undertakings of state as well as central, Food Corporation of India, and then uh, the entire oil sector uh, segments, uh, they did not uh, give much importance to these uh, joint option circulars between 2005 to 2014. The history goes like this. When in 2011, the oil sector uh, went for a major strike of changing over of the settlement uh, of uh, wage settlement for the officers as well as staff to synchronize with the central government people. The public sector and taking people were taken a ride and the officers association went on a strike. And uh, in 2011, the strike was uh, three to four days and the economy was about to be paralyzed while the paramilitary was to be. Uh, imposed by the then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh as well as the Pichinambaran Great it was fizzled out and officers were transferred here and there and they were all tortured and uh, at that time Dr. B.P. Joy was the Secretary of the Cabinet Secretary of DP as well as the Finance Secretary was in a very very high rank position but unfortunately our bad luck to the history says that uh, he was demoted as CEO of the DPF. The moment he was given uh, transfer in 2013, uh, the circular was initiated and uh, it was a brain chain. that is what it has been uh, told or rather written. It is only the, uh, what we hear from the news is from the passes now from the Delhi. We are in a position to write this or say about this to the public. And uh, Dr. D.P. Joy's circular was he wanted to take a personal revenge or something like that and then he took a lead of setting one circular of uh, spoiling the Asibutas judgments and then he stopped the uh, public sector undertakings which were exempted establishments for uh, running their own trust program fund are not eligible to get this EPS scheme uh, full pension. This is what uh, the circular initially came up with. In many organizations, public sector undertakings like Air India and then uh, uh, Airport Authority of India, they all filed the case. Here, it is very important to note that the organization went to the high courts and then they won the case. They gave the joint options at first from the A option and B option to up to 15,000 rupees maximum or the full basic plus B of actuals, whatever the options. Options were excised and then 8.33% of the employers' contributions were moved out of from their trust for their fund to the EPFO. This is what it has happened to many organizations, like around 18 public sector undertakings, they were already given. But unfortunately, that circular in 2014, when it came, it gave a cutoff date of 2009 to 2014, and the exempted PSUs are not eligible like that at all. The scheme per se was not a successful one. 
नहीं स्कीम बस सक्सेसफुल है लेकिन वो फंड नहीं है करके बता रहा था दिस पीपल वुड हैव लिसन टू इट व्हेन इट वाज यू लाइक इट वाज क्वेश्चनिंग द विजडम ऑफ द पीपल हु स्टार्टेड दिस ईपीएस नेगेटिव स्कीम हाउ द थिंक टैंक डेवलप्ड द स्कीम विदाउट प्रॉपर फंडिंग एंड ऑल इट वाज क्वेश्चन बाय द द थ्री सिटिंग जजेस ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट so the definitely the scheme is good as well as the fund is good because the capital is not at all returned it is always very much with the epo and it is a 100% lie that the money is getting eroded at all pension they are giving from the uh, returns or investments uh, from that basis only they are giving second thing the people who have contributed and have lost their life and they are not in their even spouses they pass away the kick their buckets and the entire capital is very much available with them and that particular interest portion is uh, helping the other junior citizens in assistance this is what uh, the dominion lighting process the epfo has been doing it and the think tank which started in 1993 in this new scheme uh, is not a easy job the our seniors who are uh, civil servants we had a very high opinion about the civil servants they started this and unfortunately with the bad luck Uh, this one of the civil servants, he when he got demoted to CEO of EPFO, he made a circular stating that the public sector are taking exempted are not eligible and then one night two thousand twenty was cut off. Various high court judgments came into the picture, and then all the high court judgments were tagged in Supreme Court, and then from two thousand seventeen or eighteen onwards, the cases were lingering, lingering, and finally the twenty two uh, August was a continuous hearing by the three sitting judges. and in one of the uh, uh, judgments in high court they have given uh, uh, in favor of it and uh, the same judge cannot become the supreme court judge to give a different version uh, this is also one of the secrets very much available in the supreme court so if a uh, high court judge gives a judgment in favor of employees and uh, he cannot uh, come and dictate a different term uh, in the as per the from the eyes of the laws that it will be different something like that so we all got a very favorable order in 411 2022 wherein the 142 article was used to give the exemption for another 4 months for the joint option exercise to those who are not taking and the services were returned with 192 2014 prior to 192 2014 people were not considered for which the reasons quoted was Uh, people who became 58 in 2005 or 2006, if you add another 17 years, they become 73 or 74 years. That time, when the settlement actually increased to all the public sector employees in 2007 settlement, prior to that they were below 50,000 rupees. They were not even up to 50,000 rupees. Many people said they were a maximum not 70,000 rupees. This has been kept in the minds of the uh, judges, and then the judgment was given prior to only two thousand fourteen. It need not be applied like that. They took the conscious decision. Actually, rather, it should have been kept open to the employees. Then some of the people might have preferred to even take up the entire uh, seven thousand five hundred rupees or whatever less than that. They could have very well availed of these benefits. Or even some of the people would have got a better pay, even beyond fifteen thousand rupees, more than achieved level of the supreme court when they were got it. They can very well draw more than twenty fifty thousand rupees pension. This is what the basic expectation that has been seen, and the supreme three judges, uh, three sitting judges, they gave a judgment for people who are in service as on one nine two thousand forty. They did not reach the superannuation of fifty eight years. Uh, they were only eligible like that. They gave it, and the judgment was very crystal clear in English. And the in that forty-seven or forty-nine pages, uh, if you see the judgment or the initial preamble or the background, normally the plaintiff or the defendant's case, the judges used to dictate it. After that, only the judgment uh, final order is used to come. The final order's judgment is very clear in which the four-month span is being extended. EPFO circular now on 29/12/2022. -20 they have taken a solid criticism to eight days of time, and then they have made uh, cut-off dates. Uh, from there, they have taken some few paragraphs from the background, and that one they say that it is not eligible. And then they say prior to 2014, the public sector undertaking who are exempted organizations, they have exercised the joint option 
and applied to the EPFO which was denied by EPFO are only eligible, they can only apply within 4 months like that they have taken a conscious decision, they have given uh, various steps to how to register it and all they have given. This is an absolutely, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. what you can call it is a, it's a hierarchy hypocrisy. I can very well say this is unbelievable. A person with the age of definitely 56 or 57, he is also going to retire and he has, uh, he doesn't have a sense of mind. The think tank, whomsoever they have given the guidelines to them, they have not applied their mind at all. They did not read the uh, judgments properly. It was very clearly given the judgment that 142 articles. Article 142 has been used by Supreme Court judges to release Perry Wallen in uh, other Dhanini and Murugan and all. They were all given sentence, life sentence and then uh, uh, this one, even uh, death sentence was uh, declared and then they applied the to the president, the president also turned down. In that case, this 142 has been used. Article 142 given by our uh, association stalwarts like Ambedkar and all the actual. That one has been used to release them. In uh, even the Prime Minister of India who was killed, the India Sanadana Dharma uh, is being maintained in India, and uh, people have the faith in the system as well as in the humanitarians. People have this sense, but unfortunately, to the bad luck, the civil services is supposed to be one of the best in Indian uh, economy, and the people are all becoming IFS and uh, IAS, IPS officers. And these people having passed such a tough examinations, they pass and tough interviews they give it, and when they become servants of this government, they become puppets in the hands of the, the politicians, and they act according to the dances. They are dancing to the tunes of uh, politicians. It's very, very bad. They don't have a, their own self pride. Is not at all there. Absolutely not at all there. Now it is one of the suggestions has come from Manush Suresh Tripathi from BBC from Hyderabad. He has given a wonderful suggestion to me after hearing my Tamil version. It's one of the best one. A person from Orissa Kerala, BBC retired person Sajudul Nandra. He has understood my Tamil version of my uh, EPS 93 scheme and then he has called me and suggested an excellent suggestion instead of going for immediate uh, uh, sitting in Dharna and then bringing the attention of the media as well as to the Prime Minister. Before that, uh, earlier BPC, one Mr. Venetraman of our Chennai, he has also uh, uh, arranged a letter in which each one of us, each one of us, uh, please kindly, uh, we will draft a, a letter and that letter I will try to definitely post it in my YouTube and that one I will try to get it vetted by legal experts and we will make a sympathetic appeal to the uh, President of India. Uh, Mahmoud is uh, now a very very down to earth personality and whatever we send it to her and if we pour uh, lakhs and lakhs of letters in a day it reaches before 15th of January then a, a copy to uh, Prime Minister and Chief Justice of India, certainly it will have an impact on the government, it will shake the government. Before we go in for such a major dharna and then paralyze the economy, our uh, interest is not to paralyze the economy, we are all law abiding citizens and we are very senior citizens. As a matter of fact, many of the senior citizens, we, our children are all given very good education. The only thing that we don't have that patriotic feeling in this uh, political setup is that we are not in a position to keep our children within India. We allow the children to grow abroad because uh, uh, the, the way in which they are earning, the way in which they are leading the happy life, there is no caste, there is no creed, there is no politics. Politics is there even in the United States of India, but still they are so happy. But when we senior citizens, our fellow citizens, many of them are having a lot of problems uh, in running day to day life and they need money, they need not only money and some of the organizations are giving medical reimbursements and all but that also limited to very 13 to 15 years back it was all given some savings and it is still as of date continues and many people are not able to speak to In fact Indian Oil Retired Officers Association has started a medical relief fund and we have been trying to generate our own funds and then getting some interest out of it and which they are trying to support some people who are literally in the streets there are officers who are literally in the streets, they need some help. Similarly, many organizations, state government organizations, public security, offices are all there. 
please my humble request is first at the initial stage as Suresh Tripathi has suggested we will immediately send this letter post by post to the President of India copy your address it to Prime Minister and then Chief Justice of India if this has to be done if not, if the legal advisor say that we should address it to Chief Justice, the Chief Justice India, copy to the President and the Prime Minister, that also, or we will address it to all the three and send it all three letters separately, so that it it, it attracts the eyes of people. And I request uh, public to immediately uh, uh, subscribe to this channel and then I will definitely be in getting touch with all of you and uh, everybody uh, please uh, share this uh, video to the awareness of the people and we are trying to mobilize and people are all already on Valuer Potam, one Mr. Manimaran from Mayaladuri Tamil Nadu School Service Corporation, he called me in the morning and he they have conducted recently with Kanaraj and Valuer Potam with some four MPs also participating in that. And we are trying to get it, they already given an interview with the YouTube channel of Tamila. So here also, uh, this is my own channel which I am trying to propagate it. And then uh, if uh, we will definitely try to meet some big media wherein the, we will participate in the debates both in Tamil as well as in Hindi or English, whatever it is. I am conversant with both the Tamil, English and Malayalam and as well as Hindi. I can definitely do it. This particular episode I am doing it only for the sake of not in the influence. वो सबको पता होना चाहिए हम लोगों को क्या बता रहा है। मैं अगर तमिल में बोल दिया होता तो पहले मैं तमिल में बोला है बिकॉज़ तमिल लोगों को अंदर जो भी होगे, उन लोगों को पता होना चाहिए करके मैं तमिल में बोल दिया था। अभी मैं अंग्रेजी में बोला है। अंग्रेजी में बोले में आप लोगों को थोड़ा ये सब के लिए तो मैं यही ये वीडियो में डाल रहा हूँ ये वीडियो आप लोगों को शायद कर लीजिए मेरा नंबर है मैं पहला टाइम वीडियो में दिया था अभी दोबारा मैं देता हूँ मेरा मोबाइल नंबर है नाइन ट्रिपल फोर जीरो फोर एट फोर थ्री सेवन आई एम रिपीटिंग इट स्लोली नाइन ट्रिपल फोर जीरो फोर एट फोर थ्री सेवन my name is Sarvo Srinivasan. I am from Loop Department. So the Sarvo Lubricant name is attached to my name. So widely known me as Sarvo Srinivasan in Indian Oil. I am a committee member in All India Basis on two organizations. And we are been fighting uh, uh, legally and uh, rightfully, genuinely, we are senior citizens. We will not get into anything bad. But at the same time, we will bring the attention of our Modiji we have a faith in the system, we have a faith in the judiciary, we have a faith in our democracy. And I hope if at least if my video goes to the desk of uh, our Prime Minister, we have a very, very high regard and he has been very popular all over the world and he will definitely intervene into this and my, my video can reach to his desktop. That is number one or is mobile. Second thing, please let us, I will send a draft letter immediately Tomorrow itself I will send it so that by 15th let the letter reach to all the three of them. Let us see how what best we can do. Thanks to Mr. Suresh Tripathi and Madhimar sir who have openly told about their own suggestions and many calls are coming and I will be attending to all the calls and I will definitely do it. Though my children have come from US, I have to be with them but still I will continue to fight this and I will not leave it. Thank you.